Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I'm going to be visiting Sonic Speedway Cafe in Chino Hills, California. Now I've seen mixed reviews on Yelp so I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to be good and I'm also worried that the line's going to be super long. I also have a special guest coming. He'll be showing up real soon and when we get over there I'll start filming again. But let's go check it out. One eternity later. Hey everyone look who I'm with. So we're here at the new Sonic class, what is it called? Sonic Quick Cafe. Sonic and Speed Cafe. Sonic Speed Cafe. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. I did see some bad reviews though, so we'll see how it goes. Those are not true Sonic fans though. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna get a chili dog because that's a Sonic dish. So let's see how it is over there. You guys, I got the everything laid out. So I got the Sonic onion rings, the knuckles, fries, the chili dog, of course. And there's the knuckle sandwich with the drink and the hat. So it looks very good. We'll see if it's as good as it looks in a little bit. All right, Grimsy, what are we trying first? Uh, I feel like we should try the onion ring because they look very, very good. Let's see, if you guys get a little closer look. Oh, that's look. a golden crisp, I love it. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's, I mean, it tastes like a normal onion ring, but it's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. And I'll see you fry. The knuckle fry. It's pretty good fries. Now the true test is with the chili dog. And about to try it. As you can see, it got all over the, the, the packaging. So let's see, let's see how it tastes. I'm a little bit worried. It's gonna be messy. Yeah. The Sonic Classic Dog. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm impressed. So we'll turn it over to Chester right now and see what he thinks. Good crisps on it. I'll probably give it about an 8 out of 10. I agree with that. See what you think about the fries. I see a light seasoning on them. So let's see how they are. I'll say the fries are standard, about six out of 10. They're good, not great, but I'm happy with them overall. Yeah, and then the chili dog. Yeah, the chili dog, what I'm scared of. Don't be scared. <laughs> Dang, he took a big bite, you good? Thank you, Sonic, for coming over to Chino Hills. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're gonna be sad to see you go, but. It's only here for this last month in uh, January of 2024. It's a traveling restaurant though. So I'm hearing that Texas is coming and it just left San Diego. We're gonna try one more thing after after we finish our chili dogs and this is a knuckle sandwich. The knuckle sandwich. All right guys, so I just finished the chili dog. It was pretty good. We do have the knuckle sandwich to try. So we're gonna try that right now. So. It does look a little bit off because there's no lettuce, but I still, I'll still try it. I'm still optimistic and we'll see how it tastes. The bread looks very interesting, so here we go. Mm. I'm impressed. Impressed? Mm -hmm. It tastes like something you get at Chick-fil-A. Oh, so, really? Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. All right, so it's Chester's turn. All right, my turn with the knuckle sandwich. So. I work at a restaurant, so I recognize this as a brioche bun. There's like butter infused, so I have high expectations for the bread. I am surprised on Grimsy's opinion of the chicken. I'm gonna try it out and see if, if he's right about it. And it also looks like it comes with pickles, and I'm gonna get some sort of aioli or Thousand Island. Uh oh, he had to go for a second bite. Sorry. I mostly had bread my first bite. 
How to get more chicken? Pretty darn good, honestly. I won't say it's the best one I ever had. I will give it a seven. It's good. I don't. It's not too expensive either. I would wish it did have lettuce on it though. White chicken breast, very good. I agree. All right, guys, so we're out of that Sonic Speed Cafe. Yeah, so we both ended up getting a slushy. We're about to try it and see what we think. Um, I'm a little optimistic because I like the color, but let's see. Yeah, the slushy's not that good. Um, but eh, eh, whatever, I tried it once, right? And mine was supposed to be blue and red, but the red wasn't ready yet. We came in kind of early. Yeah. They said if we waited longer, it would be better. But the flavor is not that great. It's literally just like sugary water. Yeah. So overall, though, my experience there was pretty good. I had a lot of fun, too. They're, they are very expensive, though. Well, I never. I will say the onion rings was one of my favorite parts. Yes. The chili dog being Sonic's like iconic thing. Love that. I, I would recommend if you get those two things, I would do those two things. Yes, I agree. I was impressed with the sandwich, the knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich wasn't too bad. So overall, um, if you have some money, I would try it at least once just to, just to get out of your system. Overall, the, the, the atmosphere though, amazing. Yeah, I love this scenery. We'll show you film or pictures of it. Very cool setup. Yeah, Definitely check it out. and the people were pretty friendly. Well, one of them was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the different type of video. Hope you guys don't mind. And we'll see what I find next. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. We're back in the game room. I just wanted to recap um, what I picked up. So here's a little overview of everything I took home with me. Yes, I took some of the containers home. I mean, because it's super cool seeing Sonic and Knuckles on, like, fry dispensers. And then um, I did ask the guy at the front if he can give me, like, one of the where the chili dogs come from. Um, they put the chili dog in the container, and the container gets, like, really dirty because of the chili. So I asked him if he can give me one. They first said no. After offering about to buy another chili dog, I asked him to separate it. They said, you know what, we'll just give it to you, but we're not supposed to give be giving these out. So just I feel very fortunate that they actually gave me one. They are closing up shop in Chino Hills on the end of January. So if you are a local to the area and you have not gone, I would go and try it at least once. The food was pretty good. I would give it like an 8 out of 10 overall. And if you subtract Sonic from that, um, I would say maybe like a 6 out of 10. But it's still worth a trip. It's definitely a nostalgia overload when you go in and see everything there. We definitely had a fun time. Chester is actually the one that let me know about it. So I'm very happy that he let me know. And then we went for the trip. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys actually enjoyed this kind of video content and if you want to see more. And there's many other places like this that are around me that I could potentially go to. Uh, if there's enough interest, I will continue doing that. And one last thing to mention is that it is a little bit expensive here. It is pricey. Um, you are paying basically for the marketing of the Sonic. So uh, just keep that in mind. The hat I did buy was like $32 and that is a lot of money but a lot of the items are reselling on ebay for a lot more i think with time and everything if you end up keeping this stuff in pristine condition it could be worth more later it'll be worth your investment if you're going that route for me i'm just going to keep the hat as a decoration for my game room i'm going to put it somewhere over here and then well i mean they just decorate the game room maybe in the sega area anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to comment like and subscribe for more videos and follow my instagram at grimsy raider thanks for watching and we'll see what i find next thanks guys